Thank you for watching sa aton mga previous topic. So let's proceed na sa aton nga next topic all about ne nervous system. So sa nervous system by the name itself it pertains to the nerves. And then of course involved na diri ang central organ of the nervous system which is the brain. And of course ang iyang uh, some uh, iyang uh, isa ka major part is the spinal cord. So amo na siya ang involvement sa nervous system. Okay. So as a first slide or next slide, so let's discuss the different types of neurons. So neurons pertains to the sing, uh, basic units and isa, basic units and nervous system. So classification is based on the number of processes extending from the cell body. So take note, this letter A, this is considered as the unipolar. So the unipolar are not found in adult vertebrate nervous system. So what does it imply? Of course, usually unipolar in nerve cell kitaon mga bata pa so it appears in the young vertebrates or young or young uh, animals and then the unipolar neuron here is depicted on the tip so this is stating its developmental in nature so as you can see ga develop pa siya so amo na siya ang features sa unipolar neuron next is the bipolar neuron and the pseudo unipolar neuron are bipolar kay ba itself by two polar poles so Kung sa Earth pa, North Pole, South Pole. Pero hindi niya siya name ha. Ang ginadepek lang di at least may dua siya ka-Pole. Tapos sa Redo ka, Sudo, Unipolar siya kay Tanawa ninyo, isa malang ang baseline niya pero duha ang significant or major branches making it a false bipolar. So take note na these are the characteristic of the sensory system. So what are the sensory system? Of course, you can makabata ang eyes, the nose, and then ang sense of touch naton so on so on siya sa sensory system so these are the types of neurons nga makita ninyo and the most common of neuron in the nervous system is the multipolar neuron so may branches so amo na siya ang apat ka types or morphological types sa neuron so this is an example or the detailed diagram of the multipolar neuron so as you can see this is comprised of the nucleus the soma or the body and this Branches are called as the dendrites. And base the ray is what we call the axon hilux. So this is axon. And these are myelinated by the myelin sheath. So ano ang purpose ng myelin sheath? Okay, another assignment, another bonus. So you can PM me to answer that. And then, amo ni siya ang dendrion or kung sa ano pa, dendrites. Oh, tell you dendrion gini siya. So this is a typical picture of a neuron. Okay, so na-appreciate na natin ang sa nerve cell or sa neuron. So let's proceed sa main parts of the nervous system. One of it is the brain, the main organ of the nervous system. Pero let us also take note, nga ba si Mahamal ka mo, kung wala ang muning organ, as bali, kung kakso muning organ, patay, na na, patay ang isa ka animal. Actually, no organ is independent. All of them are dependent to each other. Take note of it. Bisan maghambal tanga. Brain is the center of the nervous system because it controls almost every function of the body. Pero we need also to consider that the brain requires blood. And then sinong gaga responsible for circulating blood? The heart. So they are interdependent on each other. There is no one, no organs in the body that is independent. So itself nga, kung amun lang sa kuhaon mo mapatay ng animal, kuhaon na ng isa ka organ sa iyong mga lawas, impaired ka na. And dakong chance nga mapatay ka, especially if vital lang organs. So let's proceed sa mga, ano, labay lang ko, proceed sa mga major parts of the brain. So the cerebrum, the largest part, by transverse feature, is the cerebrum, cerebellum, and the brain stem, or the medulla oblong gata. These are just depict depictions sa right and left hemisphere. And then take note, kung sa tao pa, Kung left-handed ka, ang function mostly si lawas is ang right. And then, kung right-handed ka, ang function always si mong lawas is ang left. Ah, left ang imo, left-handed ka, right ang function. Kung right-handed ka, left ang function, ang gaano mga brain. Ang side sa brain, ang mostly ga, buhat sa mga activities. So let's proceed sa cerebrum. Ang siya. This controls the voluntary functions of our body. And then the cerebellum, these are the organs that controls the balance of the body. And then the brain stem, kung may voluntary, this brain stem controls the involuntary functions of the body. Okay, so next, aside the brain, of course, the spinal cord. So, what is the difference between the spinal cord and the spinal column? 
Of course, ang the spinal cord, amo na siya ang sa nervous system. Ang spinal column, it is the group of bones of the vertebral column nga ga protect sa spinal cord. So, the spinal cord is the nerve and ang spinal columns are the bones. Take note ha, spinal column are the bones. So, plural, it comprises of a lot of bones. That is why na formulate ang vertebral column. So, balik to sa spinal cord. So, in gross anatomy, you can see here, this is the gray matter at the inside or kung saan pa, deep, and then the socket matter. So, take note sa proportion or sa dorsal portion sa spinal cord may branch to the ray that is draga agi ang sensory neuron. And then, ang sa ventral portion, ang motor neuron. So, take note, the dorsal root, dorsal root, expect ka na ang neurons dura is sensory in function. So, once we say sensory, halin, araw ba lang gakuha siya signal from the environment, i-transmit pakad to sa brain. And then, the brain respond kung anong iyang response, ang madala sina sa signal is the motor neuron. So for example, ang isa ka animal nang napaso sa ininit. So ano ang matabo dara? Once matouch ang animal ang hot water, sang gamit sa iyang nga po or sa iyang kamot, ano na sa? Of course, it will be sent by your sense of touch. So, ang sense of touch, kung sa makafeel kung init ba or cold, it will be delivered from the tip of the nerve paka through the sensory neuron, pakat to sa spinal cord, pakat to sa brain, and then the brain will generate the possible response, ang message nga halin sa brain, get organ, and then mag-action siya according sa natural response. Of course, kung init ang na-feel niya, tanggalon niya ang iyang kamot as a response. So that's how the nervous system works. Kung sa mga voluntary muscles, of course, damo pa na mga possible feedback mechanisms na nakatabo, Especially sa mga other ano other organs, especially sa to mga involuntary ng mga organs. Pero let's ang atong nandiri sa general function nila, so abon asya. Okay, tapos tata sa function. Let's proceed sa mga cranial nerves. So by the name itself, these are the nerves that is directly at cranial, of course, sa skull. So ano makita mo sa skull? The brain. So abon asya. So, bone, it is comprised of 12 cranial nerves, but wala pa man siling na fully established. Kung may araw man, get this inform me, nga da abo pa mga cranial nerves. Pero as of today, 12 pa lang ang established na cranial nerves. So, what are these? Function and function as a sense para sa smell. So, amuna siya. Second is the optic nerve, sensory located in the diencephal on the brain. And of course, function niya for vision para makakita. Oculomotor, by the name itself, oculo. So, saan so? They are. They will serve as motor to extraocular. All muscles are located in the bones and only in the GI tract. Amo na siya ang sa oculo motor. Next is the trochlear. Trochlear. Pwede lang ganito mabasa ni. We have number four trochlear motor infarction. Five trigeminal. They comprise of three subparts: the ophthalmic, the maxillary, and the mandibular division. And then the abducens nerve. Take note: the trigeminal, trigeminal, or trigeminal. Then next is the facial nerve. So, mix ni siya in, ano, what do we say mix? Both sensory and motor na siya. So, number 9, 10, vagus, 11, accessory, and 12 is hypogolb sa muscles of the tongue. Take note, tongue is a muscle. So, ano siya. Oh, no. Bali, ang tongue galing may muscle, but not necessarily the whole. It's an autonomic nervous system. So, there are two types of, or two divisions of autonomic nervous system. Number one is the sympathetic nervous system. So they are involved in fight and flight response. Response. So nervous system. Ano na lang ginisya? By the name itself, sympathetic nervous system, fight and flight. So ang mga involuntary functions na ga involved sa fight and flight, grabbing lihok, taas ang heart rate, taas ang breathing, very active nga action. So by the name itself, fight and flight. So iyan na ka sympathetic nervous system. Pero sa para sympathetic nervous system, when the animal is in rest or undergoing a digestion. Parasympathetic nervous system ang ga function nila. So when I say what division of nervous system ga control sa pag-digest ng food, of course, the parasympathetic nervous system. Kung mag-increase ang heart rate sa animal, sino? Sympathetic nervous system. Why? Because there is siya sa active na action. Pero when the animal is asleep, sino ka function? Parasympathetic nervous system. So what do? So kung mag-in rate and then ga-undergo ang digestion. So that's it. And then for, I think this is the last slide, yes. This mnemonic para hapos ang pag-memorize ninyo. Familiar mo ka mo sa mga mnemonics, no? There are, ano lang ka, create ka abbreviation sa mga initial letters ang kada things na i-memorize mo. 
So, para yun sila. Medyo in the green, ay isang pwede ni mo magamit ng mnemonics o different orangutans and hamburgers. So, if it is the first letter of the Korean mnemonics, then it's up to you. Kung gusto niyo medyo hapos na. Okay, thank you for listening sa atong topic. If you have questions, you can PM me and you can send a message sa atong sa sining video. So, thank you and God bless.